family who can well afford to travel overseas to visit European spas and castles as they please. Surely such a blessed gift could only bear good fruit, a broader life's perspective for the family's lucky youth. But lo, what ill befalls fair maiden meeting yonder count? What harm could come from an autumn ride on two tall handsome mounts? How sad and final when two such mismatched lives intersect, the maiden's souvenir, two tiny wounds upon her neck. Her brother, likewise left to exploration on his own, stayed too late at a tavern, dimly lit till all alone, except for a lifeless ghoul who waited quietly nearby, and cast a deadly spell upon the lad for he could cry. Returning to America by steamship while avoiding, the scrutiny of their parents was both trying and annoying. The family hotel, a jewel of fine and cultured lodging, surely, fell quickly in their hands as the parents died quite prematurely. And so, with fine discretion, striving never to reveal that both these ghouls lived in a world malevolent and real, a comedy of errors, we could almost call it thus, as they balanced their daily hotel chores with their repulsive lusts. But finally they turned on one another as tension mounted higher. Behold the final battle between the zombie and vampire.